how many times have you ever asked yourself if you truly loved your job? Let me tell you a story. As many of you know, I'm currently pursuing my MBA here at IUJ, International University of Japan. Six months ago, in our strategic management class, we discussed the Delta Airline case. The case painted a bleak picture of the airline industry. Severe competition, low profit rate, high cost, high retirement rate, legacy issues. We discussed all of these problems in the class. So honestly, as a person who works in the airline industry, I really felt depressed after the discussion. <laughs> But at the end of the class, our professor, Professor Wakayama, looked at me and said, Shuntaro, today we learned uh, many difficult issues facing the airline industry. So what do you like about your job? Why are you working in the airline industry? These questions were so difficult for me to answer because at that time, I could only think about the difficult problems of the industry. I realized that professor expected me to share some of the good points of the industry and its future prospect. But I could not say anything positively. I was deeply disappointed with myself. So from then on, I tried to ask myself this question. Why am I working in the airline industry? And I kept asking this question to myself. And apparently, I'm not the only person who has experienced this self-doubt. According to the data, over 30% of American business people do not enjoy their work. On the other hand, over 50% of Japanese business people work for money. This fact shows that many business people lack fulfillment or purpose in their jobs. So like millions of people, I felt lost. But one day, when I was eating dinner with my non-Japanese classmate, he told me this. Shuntaro, you are from airline company, right? please make direct flight from Japan to my country. <laughs> I like Japan, and I would like my country to develop more through the business with Japan. We can connect with business, tourism, trading. That's a wonderful opportunity, right? You can help our country. I was really surprised to hear this comment. He's from Asia. I can help my Asian friend through my work. Also, when I was going back to the dormitory after the class, another my non-Japanese friend told me this. Shuntaro, last September, I flew to IUJ from my country with big hopes and dreams. I could not come to Japan and study here without airline. You and your company can carry and bring our hopes and dreams from my country to Japan. I think that's a big help for me. And also, these hopes and dreams are not only for me, but also for our nations. I believe that's a big contribution of the airline industry. Again, I was really surprised to hear this comment. He's from Africa. I can help my African friend and his country through my work. So I could get these amazing insights from my two friends. They need help, and I can give them help. And this help is not only for my friends, but also for their respective countries. So just by through these conversations, 
I was able to renew my purpose at work. And I believe that helping others is something we all can do to bring each other happiness and give, my, give ourselves purpose. In Japan, we have these following saying. This translates into the first happiness is giving, receiving the help. The second happiness is getting the ability of help. But the best happiness is actually giving the help. If Professor Wakayama asks me again, Shuntaro, <laughs> why are you working in the airline industry? Now, I would like to say with strong confidence, I want to help our customers. We can carry and bring our friends' hopes and dreams from Japan to their home country and to their next destination. Through these activities and my work, I can contribute to global welfare and world peace. And this, my friends, is what makes one's job fulfilling. Thank you very much.